demerits? You mean sins? Can they go to heaven instead of Gehenom? For example, let's say Manus, YY, and friends speak some heresy, but uh, the other 90% they do is good and they make a bala tshuva. Uh, future generation. No, okay, so the way it works is this. There's no such. The, the uh, uh, important thing for, for a person to know one of the 13 principles of faith is that. Hashem rewards the righteous and punishes the wicked. Now, what does that mean? That means that the mitzvot do not erase the sins. And the sins don't erase the mitzvot. Each one has to be dealt with separately. So when a person dies, you know, they go through the chibut kevel after they finish that based on what type of klipa they have, uh, what kind of sins they've made, what kind of, you know, addictions they have, physical addictions, mental addictions, and so on. They finish that section, they go to the Bedin of Shemaim, and the first thing that they have to deal with is their sins. First, they have to deal with their sins, not their mitzvot. Their mitzvot are not even considered at first. The first thing that's considered is all of their sins. Why? You can't enter Gan Eden with all of the filth that you've collected throughout the whole life. So a person has to deal with the sins. If the person has... Uh, a certain amount of uh, sins, let's say they uh, forgot to make a blessing here and there, They uh, maybe they uh, were uh, not polite, they uh, said used some foul language, whatever, they did some, uh, some things here and there, fine. So those sins have to be dealt with. But if they did some bigger sins, for example, if they you know, uh, didn't keep Shabbat, uh, you know, uh, they died a Mechalel Shabbat, then that's it, that's, that's the end. There's no, there's no, they're, they're, the, the mitzvot that they have, were already, they were already rewarded for them in, uh, in, in, in the world. You know, if, they're, if they die Mechel Shabbat, they're, they're in a category of a person that goes to Genom forever. If they waste seed and never do tshuva for it, they go to Genom forever. If they're uh, never, never put on tefillin, uh, they go to Genom forever. So there are certain, cal- certain types of sins that this is the end. Most sins are not that way, uh, you know, but uh, certainly they deserve a certain thought of punishment sometimes sometimes the punishment will have to be in Gehenom in different chambers sometimes it'll have to be in Kafakela sometimes it'll have to be reincarnation sometimes it'll be a combination thereof where for a certain part of the sin he has to suffer in Chibut Kevel. another part of the sin he has to suffer in uh, Kafakela for a, a few hundred years then after that he has to go back to the Bet Din of Shemaim. Then they say, okay, so now you finish with this sin, you have to go to the next one, you have to go and reincarnate. Reincarnate as a person again. Live life, come back upstairs, hopefully not in worse condition, and after you fix that particular sin, and they uh, then go to the next one. And the next sin, next sin has to go and uh, be rectified in Gehenom, and, uh, and so on and so forth. Gan Eden is, is, is not happening just because he did good things. First, he has to deal with the bad things. Now, if a person caused people to go against the Shem, if a person preached things that are heretical uh, uh, against the Shem, against the Torah, uh, not just by accident, but as a shita, as a shita, meaning that was their strategy, they have no share of the world to come. Meaning, it doesn't matter what good they did. They could have given a billion dollars to some yeshiva that had Gdola Dog grow up there. It's not going to help them. If they literally destroyed the lives of a lineage of people uh, because they taught them that, uh, you know, that uh, they could serve a man or that uh, God is a man or that God need, oh, needs you, all types of uh, foolish things, uh, then they, they're Mahdi Rabim. And the uh, the um, uh, Rambam says people that are Mahdi Rabim have no share of the world to come. This is in Ilchot uh, Shuvah, in the Rambam. So uh, there is no such thing as a golden ticket to Gan Eden just because somebody did good things. If they do good things, but the bad things that they do are, uh, you know, the worst type, then they'll get rewarded for those bad things in this world. And on that, the verse in Parashat Vayetchanan, Says Meshalem el Sonav el Panav Lavido. Hashem rewards his haters to their face, meaning in this world, in order to destroy them. This is the uh, second to last verse in Parashat Vayet Hanan.